Welcome Aquarian parents. I first I have to say I'm so excited and proud of you. Um, if you and, and for whatever reason, whenever you watch this, because I don't think I have too many Aquarian parents watching, but um, for those of you who catch up later, let me speak to you, um, I guess from like maybe by the time you read it, the past uh, or see this video. I, wow, you finally cut that off. Whatever that relationship was, you got rid of it. So good for you. You saw the importance of how it was affecting your child and how afraid they were. And you said, you know what? Uh-uh, I'm done with this. This person, you know, does not serve my highest good. I'm out. So this reading is reflecting of that. This was the first card that I pulled or that came out. Well, actually this one was, but I didn't flip it over yet. But a new idea... And so your new idea is divinely guided and is meant to be shared with others. Continue to work on it as you are on the right path. And it was just some, it, the fact that it just said new idea was like, yes, it was like a congratulations, a con, uh, congratulatory, um, like you've, you've elevated, you've come up to the next level. And I was like, yes, good for you. So this is a shorter condensed reading without all the bell, the production bells and whistles because I have a lot on my plate and I wanted to get these done. Um, I just couldn't do it to the same level of um, quality that um, I've done the past two weeks. So let's start from the beginning. I believe you guys had this card last week. It was the insect. And before I think it, you know, I don't know if it was upside down or if it was, you know, right side up, but your child is no longer afraid they're starting to feel more comfortable and safe. It's almost like if it was negative, they're like, oh, it's almost safe to come out and play now. Mommy's, you know, I don't know why I say mommy, but, you know, mommy and daddy, they're getting it together. They are seeing the importance of getting rid of this person and, or ending the situation so we can move on and um, have healing. So renewal, spirituality, so, so excited for what you were doing, uh, for the good of your family. And then you have the, the snake card, which I think, yeah, it was this way. And this also speaks of transformation and healing. So it's just, you got renewal, spirituality, healing, transformation, rebirth. You're doing a good thing. And, you know, you are only allowing more and more of a healthy breath of fresh air enter your, your house. And uh, amazingly, so you got this card, which was the same for Capricorn. And I'm, sometimes when I pull the card, like right after, I'm like, eh, I don't know. But yes, this one is for you. And it's like this thing, like almost like a zit is coming to the surface and you are purging it out. You are, it's like, it's all this dirt and nastiness, all this BS is coming up out of the surface and you're going to cleanse it, clear it from your system. Um, this also speaks of creativity and change. So you are just, you know, something is growing from something that was once dead and it's just this vibrant life. And you are, you know, taking charge, you know, center stage, you know, just going for it and no holds barred, just nothing can stand in your way. You are cutting anything and everything out that does not serve your highest good and you are making a productive change. So congratulations to you. Um, you are, I'm going to say amazing night. You're amazing. Amazon, Amazon night. Um, this one I believe spoke of healing. Let me just find it really quickly. Yep. Um, they're not, yeah, this, this is what it was. It Between these two, whoever that person was that you cut out, of course, they're not going to be happy about it because you were their sugar mama. You were their, they, they drained your energy and they did not give a shit. They did not care at all. So it was just like, oh man, my, my security is gone. Um, so it, this normally in the upright, I guess it speaks of peace, serenity, spiritual connection, balance, receptivity, creative, uh, perception and creativity. But this is ending. This it's like energy is draining from this. So this no longer um, is the case. You know, the peace, all that, that BS, all that crap that this person brought with them, it's leaving. So that you can have 
after they're gone so that you can experience a peace and a balance higher than you've ever known, greater than you've ever known and experienced. And you can move on in a happy direction with your life. Um, I don't remember. Char Charolite. That's the card. And yes, this is what it was. So between the two, it's like there's a little, there's a, still a little bit of friction coming from this person. They haven't accepted what's happening, but they have no choice because you were like, F you do, you're out. I'm moving on and I'm doing better for me. I'm doing better for my child or my children, my, you know, ourselves, our family. We're going to better and greater things and you are not it, you dirty old dish rag you. Um, so this is speaking of maybe from his end, and I don't know why, I just, I'm going to say it how I feel it, um, a lack of acceptance, <laughs> this person is out, they don't want to accept, you're closing the door, um, you know, he, there may be a little bit of confusion or, you know, some, some inner work that you have to do to, to fully close the door, but that person is out. Congratulations, you are living in the present. You see how peaceful this person is. They're just sitting on that egg. You know, there's they're open. They're, your past is that way. Your future, you're off to something new. You're just relishing in the moment. Um, so kudos, good, good for you. So you have the uh, past life healing in reverse. Um, the situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. So I think this speaks of... It's not like past life healing, like it, 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 it tell it brings attention to the fact that it's something from your past that you have yet to uncover and acknowledge that you need healing from. So I almost wonder if it's something from your father or a grandfather or some particularly, and it could be man or woman, but you know, I'm just getting, I'm strong. I'm going to say how it's coming out. Some man in your family caused something that, you know, causes you to recreate what you've experienced. You try to fix what happened in your past with, with that individual in your family. And it's, this is bringing attention to you saying, hey, before you can heal, you, gotta, you have to uncover and recognize what that is so that that healing can begin. Does that make sense? Um, and don't waver, you know, I think there may be a little bit of doubt. Um, of course, simply letting go of something that was familiar, it's going to cause you to sway and buckle. And, you know, I don't want to cut that out because it felt good, but it was harmful and toxic to everybody else, including yourself. So it's one of those things where you have to ask yourself, like, is feeling good is is that worth you know dying internally and can i not feel good with someone else that treats me better and if you know of course the answer is going to be yes of course you can feel good and, and even better with someone who is rightfully suited for you um it's just the person that you're with right now is not the one because they're causing some harm emotionally and trauma to your child and that's the most important person in your life. That's who you are supposed to protect outside of yourself. Not this jerk. Uh, I don't know why I feel the need. It just it feels so strongly like this person has just been a, an ass. Like taking your food, taking your money, mooching off of you, not showing respect, just being there and being a jerk. Taking stuff from you and then having the audacity to put you down for what, you know, the, the insignificant things that you didn't do get out of here, go get a job, you know, like a stupid stuff like that. So anyway, um, just you were encouraged to stay true to yourself. So I hope that that blesses you. I know it was a lot. I'm really excited. Congratulations for the growth that um, you have taken, the steps that you've taken and the steps that are to come. Have a great week. Don't change. Don't waver. You got this. You'll be all right. And we'll see you soon. Bye.